So we're on the move. Not that we can do too much, but there's something we can do. We're gonna go to take a look at a auction a vehicle that's coming up under auction. It's being vandalized, it's being written off through insurance. I believe it's a 2007. It's an envoy or some trailblazer, I think is actually what it is. I uh, don't know if it's two door or two uh, wheel drive or four wheel drive. It's a four door. They didn't make any mention about if it's four wheel drive. I'm also thinking that, uh, well, it's a straight six as far as I know. I think that's what they all had in them. Don't know much more about it other than 2,208,000 2, kilometers, I think. Of course, here in Manitoba, we'd have to have that thing safetyed by the Manitoba government, which is a pain in the butt. It's a big pain in the you-know-where. Uh, probably mostly due to if it has any rust on it. They're kind of fussy about that. I don't like rust either, but if it's not really, really a structural thing, but they probably will make it into that. Of course, you know, tires have to be good, brakes have to be good. They go through the whole front end, everything else. I usually figure a thousand bucks. Plus, the windshield's got to be pretty good too, so we will go take a peek at it together, see what it's like. So since you're along with me for the ride, just remember these things. We want to see what the tires are like, because if they're not good, it's not worth it. We want to see what the windshield's like, because if it needs replacing, that could be five, six hundred bucks here in Canada, maybe more. Could be seven or eight hundred dollars. And what else? Can't really have any kind of rocker panel holes. Um, think it, it probably does. And that's just, you know, kind of the main things that we have to worry about here. I'm gonna have to safety it if I do buy it. I'm gonna have to pay sales tax on it. So that's not a big deal. It's usually what, what are you gonna pay on? It's not worth a whole lot of money. Let's take a look at it over there. Let's get in here. Well, so far, it doesn't look like it's got any hail or anything, but this, yeah. Hmm. This is what it's written off for. This is key. Yeah, it's deep enough. So, what are we supposed to look at the tires? hard to tell but they feel like they're pretty good oh yeah I can live with that oh this side's got some good scratches oh who would scratch it like that's just sad okay can you see that wow will that even happen can we get in here we can hmm No keys. Let's take a look in here. It's a 4200. And let's take a look at the, what's the oil look like? I guess I've seen worse. Hmm. Tech's cool, there's some in there. Can't seem to start it though. Really hard to tell. Because it's it's plastic bottom. Darn. I'm gonna say it's probably okay. Oh one last thing, windshield. Windshield looks good. And can we see what this kind of mileage thing here? Uh, it does in the window, but I can't read it. We get a true mileage. It said it was it looks like 206k, and it's uh, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's a 2007 or something. That might be the seven. It's uh. It's not bad. 
just nookies. I'm glad we came and saw it. Uh, it's too bad about the deep scratch on one side there, but basically all the panels are scratched. Not nice. Uh, thing here with uh, insurance here in Manitoba, won't let you start them. It doesn't say anything if it runs. They don't guarantee a thing. And they won't let you start them. You're kind of on your own. You hope for the best, and people a lot of times just get all excited because, oh, somebody was driving it, it must be okay. Not necessarily. We'll do a little bit on it. We'll let you know how we make out. Well, that'll happen in the next clip. Well, what do you think we should bid on this? Uh, I took a quick look online and they're anywhere from like, I don't know, in Manitoba here, $2,500 to maybe $4,000 for a vehicle like that, but that would be safety and not damaged because there's probably, I don't know what the paint job is worth. Five grand for sure. I know you're going to say, why don't you bring it to Maker or something like that? Well, maybe you could do that for, I don't know what that would cost you. Um, so I bid $420.78. It's a weird number, but. Just in case somebody bid four hundred dollars or four hundred one, I figured we're just above that. We'd win the bid. Uh, so you'd have, you know, with taxes about four fifty into it. What else was I thinking here? Oh, ABS light was on. The four by four had a little wrench saying there was something wrong with that. Don't know what's going on there. So maybe the ABS is like a sixty dollar um, piece of wire, a sensor or something. Or it could be the hub. I've had that on a Cobalt, I think it was a while back there. I had to put the, the actual hub in because the sensor is part of the hub. So that could cost you three, four hundred bucks just for the part. Of course, we can do it ourselves. Uh, what else were we thinking here? Thinking maybe, you know, $1,000 for safety is nothing here in Manitoba. They're going to go over it with a fine tooth comb. They're going to find any kind of uh, play in the steering and the ball joints. Uh, and the vehicle is about that old already. So, I don't know if that stuff's been done before. It could be break time, could be drum time, all that kind of stuff. What else did I have written down? I had a few things. Um, but let's say, best case scenario, I bid the 450, it cost me $300 to safety it. So you got, let's say, 750 into it. What's it really worth? What's somebody gonna give you for it? I thought, you know, you'd probably get a couple $2,500. It's a safety vehicle, nice and clean. But who's gonna want that scratch? I thought, get some touch of paint, maybe we could, uh, very carefully try and touch it up, sand it, buff it, touch it up again, sand it, buff it, a little bit of clear on there. It'll be good from like maybe 10, 15 feet away. What would you bid on it? I didn't get the bid, by the way. Uh, don't know what it went for. Right now with uh, the lockdowns and that, they're not showing you what it went for. All I know is I didn't get it. So either it's going to go through the auction again, which usually I haven't seen that happen before, or somebody bid more than that. And... We're probably one of the few people that actually went and looked at it. Comments, put them down below. What do you bid on that thing? What do you think it's worth? With all the little things I'm telling you, you probably have to spend on it. Would you be interested in it? Do you think it would have been an easy vehicle to flip? I thought because it's, you know, uh, SUV and it's four-wheel drive. That'd be guys. I, I'd drive it for a while until it's sold. Questions, comments, criticism. If you're new to the channel, why not subscribe? Give me the thumbs up. You can subscribe down there. What else can we tell you? I always have some kind of a automotive video. I thought, hey, why don't we, you know, do the, let's see if we can buy some in the auction. I was hoping we'd get it. And then we could go, you know, through a couple other more interesting videos fixing it. Can't wait to see you next time. To you and your family, stay well. To be safe, your safety is your responsibility and should be priority number one. Also, if you like the video, why not give me the thumbs up? Plus, please subscribe. You can just ring the bell to get all notifications. It's easy. We'll show you how. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. See what it's like.